Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm the owner at Wild Birds Unlimited in Fort Collins. It's the time of year when a lot of our customers come into the store and ask us, why are woodpeckers banging on my house? And that's a great question. It's a very, very loud banging noise that male flickers make in, in early spring to attract a mate. It's called drumming, and woodpeckers have learned over the years that if they bang on metal objects, it's much louder than banging on wood objects. So they tend to bang on our chimney, gutters, and eaves in order to attract a female. And early in the morning, usually pre-dawn or right at dawn, you'll hear what sounds like a jackhammer. And essentially it only lasts one to two seconds, if that, and they rapidly drum about 25 beats per second. And the louder the bird, uh, the more females that might be attracted to him. And what it's actually done is replaced uh, what songbirds do, which is sing to attract a mate. Woodpeckers drum. So if you're awakened early in the morning to a loud sound of what you think is a jackhammer on your roof, more than likely it's a male northern flicker trying to attract a female. We've answered the question about why woodpeckers are banging on your roof and the metal objects on it, and we have solutions to help you deter them from coming back to that same area and waking you up early in the morning. We have a holographic scare tape and it's made of mylar and it's a very shiny glittery sort of tape. It's not sticky, it comes in a hundred foot roll that you can cut into different lengths and attach to the area that they're being attracted to. The glint and the shininess that's caused by movement with the wind and the sun makes them not want to be in that area because of this. Another option is a holographic windsock. And this is a, a sock made of many strips of that mylar. And you can hang this very easily from an eave or a downspout, which will deter them from coming to that area. Um, these are very inexpensive fixes uh, to initially try to deter woodpeckers from coming to your home. Uh, they tend to work from one to three years because woodpeckers are very intelligent birds and they may learn that while it's irritating to them, it doesn't pose any harm or threat to them. The next best option is to put a flicker box or a birdhouse for flickers on your house. But it's a ready-made room. They're very pragmatic. They would love to come to your home, make a nest, and build a family in that beautiful safe box, and then go off into the wild. We sell a birdhouse called a, a flicker box. And you'll notice it's a very large birdhouse with a very large opening because it's a very large woodpecker. The opening's two and a half inches wide, and there is slate around the entrance because birds may cling to the side of the box and then drum on the slate, and you don't want them to damage the wood and create another hole or another entry point. Um, they're very, very easy to hang. They come with a, a wonderful hanger on the back. Essentially, you would want to put this on your home right up under an eave or under the apex of a roof line. Uh, or very near, if not over, where damage might be occurring to your home. Uh, the, the side of the box opens up very easily with this little lever. You turn that and you open the box and the side opens and you can see that you can have access to the inside of the box. When you first put it up, every box comes with a bag of eastern white pine wood chips. We recommend putting them back into the base of the house and packing them down about two to three inches deep. Save the rest of it because when you clean the box in the fall, you can replace the old wood chips with new. And then close the house back up, hang it up where you've decided to put it. And then you may notice that flickers will actually go into the house and excavate some of the wood chips out. People will tell me I did such a great job of packing this wonderful bed for the bird and he threw it all out onto my lawn. Well, what they're doing is they're actually treating this cavity as though it were a tree, and a cavity in a tree, and they're excavating the wood out of it that they would have taken out on their own in nature. They'll use some of those pieces and other materials to repack and create a nest, and then having attracted a mate, they'll go into the box, she'll, she'll have her babies, and they'll fledge right out of this box. It's a wonderful way to live with northern flickers. They're very territorial, and once you attract one family to your backyard, they will keep other northern flickers away. So by living with one family, you actually help them out, 
keep your house safe from other woodpeckers and uh, can enjoy uh, them for years to come.